You may be wondering why I'm all bundled up nice and cozy. Probably because my room is freezing. On to the main point. I've been very busy doing things. I was casted as Tina Denmark for Ruthless, the musical, which is going to be happening next semester. I also tore two ligaments in my foot, courtesy of the haunted house that took place two weekends ago. So I've been on crutches for two weeks, that's been a blast. I've also had lots of midterms and fun stuff of that nature. But what I really want to talk to you about is I've been ASMing for the complete works of Shakespeare for about over a month now. More than that, uh, hmm? a while. Hooray, the time has finally come! Tonight is the grand opening of the complete works of Shakespeare. 7 o'clock. I should have made this vlog earlier, but I've been doing stuff, so. The complete works of Shakespeare is all of Shakespeare's classic works combined into a lump of hilarity in 90 minutes or less. We're working hard, and I just thought that I should share with you some behind-the-scenes things. So I will let you do that now. So I am here with Julie Grace Scanlon, who is the stage manager for The Complete Works of Shakespeare. Grace, how did you get into stage managing? Well, I assistant stage managed Appetite last year, and I really liked what Jill, who was the stage manager for Appetite, did, and I thought that would be interesting. And then over the summer, I worked on another show, and I was interested by the stage manager there. So when they needed a stage manager for this show, I asked, and they said yes. Have you had a lot of fun um, doing the complete works of Shakespeare? It's definitely an experience that changes every day. How do you feel about your ASMs? Cough, cough. I mean, they're all right. Well! Okay, DJ. Hello. Hi. How did you first get chosen to be ASM? Jeff told me that I needed to check for my major, but I'm not a theater major. So I signed up anyway because I wanted to work in the theater with all these little. Are you doing video? Yes. Oh. So I hear you played the most girl parts in the entire show. How is that for you? Uh, it's, it's nice. Um, I get, I get pretty in touch with my feminine side, uh, and as an actor, I think you have to be able to do that to make yourself versatile. Um, but it, no, it's, it's in all seriousness, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun, uh, a lot of laughs in general, both on the audience side and people laughing behind my back. Can you tell us which characters you play? Um, yes, I play the nurse from Romeo and Juliet. Uh, I play Cleopatra from Anthony and Cleopatra, and Gertrude from Hamilton. Great. Lighting change. Lighting change, thank you. Dramatic. So, Dustin Kenyon here. Yes. I hear that you play Juliet. I do. In complete works. How is that for you? Well, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and damn right it's better than yours. Damn right it's better than yours. I could teach you, but I'd have to charge. Smells good. I'm really Like That's everyone. <laughs> like everyone in the play, you play He's a variety. Just a ghetto girl trying to make it in her own little ghetto world. <laughs> With our little ghetto boyfriend. <laughs> It looks like a girl, but... You can't swear! School block! Because he's into that stuff. So you play a variety of characters in the show, like everyone else. Which yep. is your favorite? I personally love Claudius. Getting to go into the audience every night with my really big laugh and my mustache. Which he has all the things. Hi, DJ. This is DJ. <laughs> <laughs> no swearing. Please state your name for the camera. Sarah Hoover. And when did you first discover the theater was your first true and passionate lover? <laughs> well, 